Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do another, well I am, not you, you guys can just sit there on your sofa and watch another video of the North Node series. This time we're gonna talk about North Node in Scorpio. Oh my gosh, I feel the intensity already. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know what the North Node is, um, in a nutshell, it's your mission in this lifetime. It's your um, northern lights. It's your north star, your karma, your destiny and uh, what you need to fulfill and where you need to go and what you need to do in order to progress and to evolve as a human being. Your north node, however, has an opposite um, mathematical point in your chart, which is the south node. These two guys, the north node and the south node of the moon, are both in, are always in opposite signs. So if you've got your north node in Scorpio, that means your south node is in uh, Taurus. The north node is telling you about your direction, whereas the south node is telling you where you're coming from. So it's like your default mode, it's your patterns, it's what you're used to, it's something that you've already been through in previous lives, you've learned those lessons and in this lifetime you need to let go of it and not focus on what you've previously done and what you're good at and what you know and focus on where you need to head towards. So my dear North Node in Scorpio friends, Life for you is not going to be easy, I've got to tell you, but it's not going to be boring ever, ever. The first thing that you need to do in order to kind of take the right path and move forward, not stand still, is try as much as you can. I know it's hard. Um, try to detach yourself, uh, yourselves slowly but surely from the material world. So. Um, with your south node in Taurus, um, material resources, money, um, properties, basically everything that's material, even like things that have got to do with your senses, with pleasure, um, for instance food, drinking, um, sensual pleasures in general, you need to detach yourself uh, from those and focus more on the emotional side of things, on the spiritual side of things, on what's going on the inside, um, on people rather than stuff and objects and uh, resources. You've got loads of those, or if you haven't got them, don't worry, you do not need them. That is not what you, why you have come here for. So get out of your default mode and focus on, for instance, your immense sexual power, um, your business acumen, because because Scorpio is a very business oriented um, sign and you might be like, oh, but you said not to focus on money. Well, business is not just about money. Business is about pulling the strings, business is about strategy, business is about meeting new people, about expanding, about having an idea and implementing it. It's about making money work for you, not you working for money. That is what business is. You might be coming from a well-off family and you might have money to invest. So basically, it's all about how you focus less on the actual physical, material side of things and more on the thought process behind it, about the strategy, about um, what happens on the background, not just what you see. Scorpio is the most mysterious sign of them all. Scorpio acknowledges and recognizes the dark side in everyone, but especially the dark side in themselves. As a Scorpio North Node, you need to acknowledge that. You need to accept the fact that you are not all rosy and shiny and uh, perfect. However uh, you'd like to see yourself, you need to acknowledge that there is a dark side to everyone, you need to embrace yours, and that's where a lot of power is gonna come from, because as a Scorpio North Node, there is power out there waiting for you to go and take it, my friend. Like, I told you this before, but I need to repeat it because it's very important. Embrace your sexuality, embrace your spirituality, and focus on the people. 
try to take yourself out of your shell and try to start engaging with others because that is what Scorpio does. Uh, Scorpio is the psychologist of the zodiac. It's also the detective of the zodiac. They understand people, but in order for you to get to understand people, because you probably are not in the mood for it, Taurus is just like doing their own thing, minding their own business, keeping life simple and pleasurable and Scorpio is not like that. As a Scorpio, you need to put yourself out there. You need to be open and stand up for yourself and not be afraid of, for instance, power struggles. If there's power out there waiting for you, expect a combat. <laughs> Let's not forget that Scorpio has got two rulers. Its motto ruler, which is Pluto, the planet of death and rebirth of regeneration and Mars which is the planet of survival and fight and combat and you've got that aggressive streak in you and that combative streak and as a Scorpio North Node you need to accept it and embrace it you can't keep things pleasurable and peaceful and harmonious all the time although your Taurus South Node would want it to be that way one more thing as a Scorpio North Node, you'll probably go through a death and rebirth um, in a metaphorical sense of the word, of word in this lifetime. I say once, but you might go through this sort of process more than just once. So you might find yourself leaving an actual life behind and stepping into a different stage which has got absolutely nothing to do with the previous stage. And you need to let go of that part in your life and focus on the new one and accept it. Accept the fact that nothing is forever. Uh, things do change. Taurus hates change. I know it. <laughs> Taurus is a fixed sign. Scorpio is a fixed sign as well, but Scorpio deals better with change because they know no nothing lasts forever. You need to accept the fact that nothing does last forever and allow yourself to be purged and to be purified by of all the energy and of everything that you don't need in your life and just step into a totally different stage. You need intense experiences, my Scorpio North Node friend. You need to accept your dark side and enjoy life to the fullest because life is about the people for you. It's not about the money. It's not about how many houses you've got. So go out there and uh, have fun. Well, I hope I've, I have covered everything. If you've got any more questions about your Scorpio North Node of the Moon, let me know in the comments below and I will reply to every single one of you. Um, don't forget to share this with any friends that you know who might have their Scorpio North Node in Scorpio. <laughs> I'm repeating myself. Um, and. Just so you know, I also do birth chart readings and uh, loads of other readings, so compatibility, relationship readings, transits. So if you're interested in finding out more about your Scorpio North Node or about your whatever North Node you've got and about your chart as a whole, uh, drop me a line on my email address because it's in the uh, description box down below. I hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, okay? I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.